welcome friends this is dr prashant patel pain college of engineering belagavi please subscribe my channel press the bell icon so that you get the notifications like the video comment and share this video is an example to find the coefficient of correlation between x and y for the following data and also we are obtaining the regression lines here x values they are given x equal to 1 2 3 up to 10 and corresponding y values also they are given to use the coefficient of correlation we have three formula out of that which one we have to use that one will decide our mean of x and mean of y okay now mean in x is equal to x bar is equal to summation of small x divided by n will do sum of x values we can add them okay 1 2 3 up to 10 you will get 55 divided by 10 observations are there i will get 5.5 similarly mean in y to find out that y bar equal to summation y divided by n summation y if you add all those things okay you can use a calculator for that we we are getting it as 307 divided by 10 that is 30.7 okay here we are getting the both x and y okay here both are in decimals okay both are in decimals as they are in a decimals finding the x minus x bar if i use correlation coefficient r is equal to summation of x minus x bar into y minus y bar whole divided by n into sigma x sigma y x minus x bar y minus y bar to calculate them they will become again in the decimals so i will not prefer this formula and another formula we are having that is summation of capital x into capital y divided by square root of summation of x square into summation of y square this formula is also there with us usually we are using this second formula capital x is nothing but again x minus x bar y minus y bar okay if i using this formula then also it will become again difficult to prepare the column for uh, decimals using that that's why one more formula we had derived for the correlation coefficient that is in terms of standard deviations that is sigma x square plus sigma y square minus sigma x minus y square whole divided by 2 times sigma x into sigma y this formula i have to use here okay while using this formula okay to use this formula i have to find out sigma x sigma y and their squares what is my sigma x formula then okay sigma x that is variance sigma x square equal to we are having the formula summation x minus x bar square divided by divided by n this is the variance formula or or i can use even for this one as summation of x square divided by n minus x bar squares i can use okay this will not contain any uh, subtraction of x minus x bar decimals will not get in this formula okay that's why i'm going to use this formula okay and this one now one more i want a summation of y, uh, sigma y square that is the what sigma y square equal to summation y minus y bar square divided by n formula is there or i can write it as a summation of y square divided by n minus y bar square using this formula r very simple to apply now or and one more i want sigma x minus y okay for that one i will write it as a um, sigma x minus y square or sigma z square i will write x minus y i will write as z therefore i can write it as a summation of z minus z bar square divided by n to avoid this one i can use it as a summation of z squares divided by n minus z bar square 
okay this formula i will use to calculate this one okay according to this i will prepare the column now okay i will prepare the table and i will come back here according to my requirements sigma x square i want summation of x square and x bar square summation y square summation y square summation z square i want according to that i have prepared the table x y z z is nothing but x minus y x square y square and z square their summations i want to find out okay i will prepare this one as a x minus y as a minus 9 minus 10 minus 13 minus 24 next 20 minus then it is a minus 30 minus 34 minus 41 minus 39 and minus 40 okay these are my z value that that their squares i have to find out their squares will become x square 1 4 9 16 25 36 49 64 81 and 100 y squares their squares i want to find out them okay then 10 square is 100 12 square is 144, 16 square is 256, next 28 square 784, 25 square 525, okay, next 36 square 1296, like that you can use the calculator, 41 square is 1681, 49 square is 2401, 40 square 1600, 50 square 2500 and similarly z square minus 9 square will become plus 8100 13 square 136 24 square 576 20 square 400 30 square 900 34 square will become 1156 41 square is 1681 and 39 square will become 961 and finally 40 square will become 1600 and their summations of all these columns i want okay summation of x i'm getting a 55 summation of y is 370 and summation of z is nothing but a minus minus 252 next summation of x square summation my x square is 385 summation of y square is nothing but 11387 you can use the calculator to find out them like that summation z square will become 7624 using all these things i will calculate the variance first sigma x square sigma y square and sigma z square okay i will come back with a solution here now my sigma x square equal to summation x square divided by n minus x bar square sigma x square is nothing but 385 divided by 10 minus x bar is 5.5 square you can use this one and i'm going to get it as 8.25 is my sigma x square okay therefore my sigma x is equal to square root of this that is a 2.87 i can write can use calculator for that also sigma x i calculated okay next sigma y square is nothing but a summation y square divided by n minus y bar square equal to sigma y square is nothing but 11387 divided by n minus 30.1 square 30.7 30 that is the mean of the y that I am going to get it as 196.21 that is a sigma y square and sigma y will become square root of that 14.01 is my sigma y okay like that I want to find out a summation of z square sigma z square that is summation of z square divided by n minus z bar square summation z square is nothing but 7624 
सेवन सिक्स टू फोर डिवाइडेड बाई एन माइनस झड बार टू फाइंड आउट झड बार समेशन ऑफ झड डिवाइडेड बाई एन समेशन ऑफ झड इज नथिंग बट माइनस टू फिफ्टी टू डिवाइडेड बाई टेन एंड इट्स स्क्वायर कैलकुलेट सिंप्लीफाई दिस आई एम गो टू गेट इट एज वन ट्वेंटी सेवन पॉइंट थ्री फाइव इज माई सिग्मा झड स्क्वायर ओके सिग्मा झड आई डोंट वॉन्ट I will not calculate the square root. Therefore, therefore, coefficient of correlation, coefficient of correlation r is equal to sigma x square plus sigma y square minus sigma x minus y square whole divided by two times sigma x into sigma y. Substitute the values. Sigma x square is eight point two five plus sigma y square. Is nine one ninety six point two one minus one twenty seven point three five the whole divided by two times sigma x that is two point eight seven just now calculated here two point eight seven and sigma y is fourteen point zero one I will operate it in the calculator and I will come back with the answer here as this one I have operated in the calculator this whole thing I have operated in calculator and I am getting R is equal to point nine five eight eight, or approximately I can write it as up to two decimal places as a point nine six. Also, I can write. Okay. Now, this is my correlation coefficient R. Now I have to calculate the regression lines. Okay. To find out regression lines. Okay. To find regression lines. I will have to find. I have to find regression coefficients. Or regression coefficients. That is, b y x is nothing but r into sigma y divided by sigma x. R value just now calculated. That is, point nine six. Okay. Into into sigma y. Sigma y is a fourteen point zero one divided by sigma x, two point eight seven, and it comes out to be four point six eight six. Now you can calculate this using calculator. Similarly, b x y b x y is what r into sigma x divided by sigma y. That is a point nine six only into two point eight seven divided by Fourteen point zero one, which is comes out to be point one nine seven zero point one nine seven. I am going to get. Therefore, regression line y on x. Therefore, regression line y on x. Regression line y on x is given by y minus y bar equal to. B y x into x minus x bar, which implies y minus y bar. Y bar value is thirty point seven equal to B y x four point six eight six into x minus x bar. My x bar value is five point five. Therefore, y is equal to four point six eight six x minus five point five into Four point six eight six plus thirty point seven. Therefore, y is equal to four point six eight six x times this one. I have to calculate. Okay, using calculator and all those things. This quantity, if I calculate, I am going to get it as plus four point nine two seven. This is the regression line y on x. Similarly, x on y, I have to calculate regression line. Regression line x on y that is given by x minus x bar equal to b x y into y minus y bar that is x minus five point five equal to zero point one nine seven just now calculated this b x y zero point one nine seven next 
into y minus y bar 30.7 therefore x is equal to 0.197 times y minus 30.7 into 0.197 plus 5.5 if you simplify this i am going to get it as x is equal to 0 0.197 times y minus 0 0.548 this is the regression line x on y like this some more examples on this regression lines and correlation coefficient i am going to solve in my next videos if you not yet subscribe my channel please subscribe my channel don't forget to hit the bell icon so that you will get the notifications of my next videos like this video comment and also share this video Thank you friends.